Okay, assuming that sits right there. <laughs> I got my Anzac cookies here. I got a few drinks. I'm not going to do any drinking on camera. Sasha's happy about this here. I know. A friend of mine sent me these, like I said, these Anzac cookies. Love them. Uh, and it's, it's what today's about. I'm not Australian. I have a big Australian friend, flag. Another friend of mine sent me. Get this out. Pay a lot of respect for it. It's upside down. I'm an American here, first of all. And uh, this, it was a great honor to me. I've had two of these given to me. This is the bigger one, given to me by Jamie when he was here. Uh, the other one, given to me by another friend. And <clears throat> I'm deeply honored to have these given to me. As, as an American, you know, I'm not holding this above my flag. I have a lot of respect for it, but we're very... Very similar. I mean, what what really do you put it respect-wise? I mean, th this this flag here, as much as the American flag has had uh, a lot of really honorable people that fought. For it. In fact, a good good friend of mine here that was. Oh, I got Vegemite too. <laughs> Thank you, Jenny. Uh, a good friend of mine's grandfather actually died in the war that flag so this camera's bouncing around you know I'm, I'm gonna be a little silly here and I'm gonna put on this this uh, core cat which no I'm not nobody wears these things they kind of like uh, make you sick you watch them spin but uh, <laughs> I love Australian culture the the uh, the idea of this is uh, today is uh, Australia Day and there's a lot of controversy right now. They're trying to change a the date. They're trying to change the name of it. And uh, me as an American, you know, I I am deeply offended by that myself. Because, you know, what it means to be Australian, I consider these people to be like cousins, you know, they're like family. During, um, a lot of people don't know what, what Australia Day means goes back but to me to me what it means is my friends and it also means to me uh, what this flag means and it's not a British thing that's a lot of people make the mistake of what the you know Australians must be British no no uh, under the crown yes you know they didn't break away like the Americans did but uh, there's there's a difference and one of the differences is uh, for instance World War two and this is not to talk about the Germans, it's a totally different thing. There were two fronts in this war. And during World War II, the, uh, of course the British were being attacked by the Germans. That was one war. But also the Australians were being attacked. A lot of people don't know this. My dad fought, my dad was a sailor, he was a merchant marine in World War II. And, uh, that time, Pearl Harbor was bombed. You know, it was the it was the Japanese that attacked Pearl Harbor, and uh, Japanese had been going the way down the islands, the way down, almost on the doorstep of Australia. And uh, you know, the Australians called off the British and said, "Hey, mate, can you help me out here?" <laughs> the British were like, "Uh, yeah, okay, when we get around to it." You know, they. Nothing against the British, they had their own war to fight with the Germans, but it was like the Australians were kind of on their own. And, uh, of course, the Americans entered when the Japanese attacked Pearl Harbor, and uh, that's where we started our campaign. It went island by island. Thousands of Americans and Australians died in that campaign. And I'm not saying that the Americans came in and said, they, no, that's not what happened. The Americans, we ourselves could not have gone in and picked an island and just said, hey, we're going to start here. It took the Australians and the Americans to win that war. And, uh, yeah, it did save the whole island of Australia. Island, I say, continent. But by both of these powers coming together, 
and it didn't matter what flag, I mean, the, the American flag and the Australian flag, the idea that you were fighting for your own land. Australia had been attacked, America had been attacked uh, by the Japanese, and, you know, together they, they conquered it. They conquered, fought back, and you now Australia was almost on the verge of being, being lost to the Japanese, which would have been, been horrendous. If you ever watched the movie Australia, uh, kind of a Hollywood version of it, gives you an idea of it. But, you know, Australian Day is, for me, because my father fought in World War II, and uh, my friends, a lot of my friends, their grandparents did, some of them died, and uh, my respect is deeply towards them. My father had a lot of Australian friends, and uh, you know this 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 flag to me is not my national flag. But if I had a a close second with the red, white, and blue, I'd see it with this. It's a beautiful flag, and they're beautiful people. And uh, enough of the history lesson here. I want to wish everybody in Australia a very good, a very uh, enjoyable, and very fun. Australia. <laughs> Australia Day, if I can talk here. Uh, I get a little choked up when I talk about the war because I, you know, I had my dad and my uncle fought in it. And uh, that's why I find it so offensive when they want to change the names of things like that because it's kind of like a slap in the face to the people that died and the people you've known that have sacrificed so much. So, you know. Uh, no, I don't agree with changing the name of it. I think that uh, what this flag stands for is a lot of honor, a lot of uh, a lot of things that you know should just stay the way they are. So you know, hey, uh, all my Aussie friends, Aussie, 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 you guys have a wonderful Australia Day. I love you all. Stay blessed. Stay safe and. Uh, Thank you for uh, being our cousins in a way here. You know, I celebrate the 4th of July and I celebrate your Australia Day. So, have a good one, mate. <laughs> All right. God bless.